So we've learned how to play the golf ball along the ground, the bump and run shot that we've done last time. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a card up in the top right hand corner and you can click on that, catch up whenever you get a chance. But today we're gonna to play the complete opposite. We're going for the lob shot. We're looking to hit the golf ball straight in the air. It's gonna come down nice and soft and land next to the flag. This is a great shot if you've short-sided yourself or maybe you have some water or a bunker to go over and you just wanna get the golf ball up as quickly as possible. This is the shot that you need. But before we get to that, as always, if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated as well. Now, because we want to hit the golf ball straight in the air, the first thing I've done is grab the most lofty club in my bag. So I've got a 60 degree wedge. You're going to want to do the same. Maybe something around a 50, a 60 would be absolutely ideal. Some players even play this with a 64 degree wedge, but we just want to make sure we've got as much loft as possible. Now, the first thing we're going to do is open up that club face. We're going to increase the loft even more because as I say, we want the golf ball to go straight up in the air. So when you place the club head behind the ball, you want to open up that face and then take your grip. You don't want to take your grip and then open the face. Now as the club face is open, the golf ball may want to drift off to the right a little bit, so you can open up your stance just to compensate for that if you want. But just watch the shoulders aren't pointing way too far to the left through impact. That may cause you just to drag the golf ball off to the left, and obviously that's not what we want to do. We want to get it starting on our target, we want it to land on target. Now when it comes to the shot, we want a nice shallow angle of attack because we want to try and maintain that loft through impact. So we don't want to get too steep. If we get steep, then we end up decreasing the loft and the ball's going to come out a lot lower than what we want. So a way that we can do that is just move the golf ball slightly further forward in our stance. So if you play an iron shot, usually around the middle, you just want to move it a little bit further forward than that. And then from there, we can take a nice big wide stance and we can even just sit down a little bit more than we usually would, so maybe flex the knees a little bit more, get us nice and low to the ground, and again, that will help us shallow out that angle of attack a little bit. Now, in terms of our weight distribution, we do want to favour the left side, but we don't want to be all the way over on our left side, so something around 60% on the left side should be ideal. The main thing with this shot is when you come through impact, we really don't want you to be off onto that right foot. We don't want to be sitting back with this shot, so we want to maintain the pressure on our left side. Another thing you can do just to help you increase that loft and give you a better chance of maintaining the loft through impact is it's set up, you can just move your hands back a little bit. Because as you can see, the more I move them back, the more that loft increases. So if I was to move them forward, it would decrease. If I move it back, it then increases the loft. Now in terms of length of swing, that really is just gonna depend on how far you have to go to the flag. But I would say from this distance for me, it's probably gonna be around about a three quarter swing. Now there's two main keys that I want you to remember when you're playing that shot. One is that you need to accelerate through the golf ball. We don't want to slow down through impact. We need to make sure we've got plenty of speed with that club. Make sure you hit the shot hard and you really commit to it. Because if you don't and you decelerate, you could leave the golf ball right in front of you. And the second thing is, when I'm playing the shot, I like to try and feel like my head stays really still. The reason being is I don't want to move around when I'm hitting the shot. I want to make nice clean contact. And if I do move around a little bit, I might catch the ground early or I could end up topping it or something like that. And obviously we don't want that. We want to get a nice clean contact. So when you actually take the club back and you swing through impact, just feel like your head stays pretty still. It may move a little bit, but it's more just a feeling of when you hit that shot. That's another thing that I like to focus on. Now before I go, I just want to say a special thank you to Harbon Golf Club for letting me use their course to film this video today. If you fancy a game here, you can check out their website. I'll leave a link in the description box below. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.